All right, so we're back at the LA County Fair and we did something I never thought that I would do. Uh, I have a strong stance of not purchasing things at the fair that I can just get in my everyday life. Well, uh, so we did on the on the the preview episode, we did talk about, I think you said, why would anyone come to the fair and get something from Hot Dog on a Stick? It's always my main one. Well, also Dunkin' Dots. Well, that's a little harder to find. Like usually you have to go to a specific place. Hot dog and stick is in every mall in Southern California. Every single one has it. Fries? Eh, I don't know if the fries are that good. I love hot dog and stick though. Um, I used to get it as a kid all the time. Not so much anymore. I don't really think it's worth it overall in terms of health. And, but we, and we did an episode of Hot Dog and a Stick, the original location in Santa Monica. There you go. You can check it out over on his channel. By the way, check out his channel in general. It's pretty great and you can see an overall review of the fair. But um, they had a special because right now every single place here has what's called a pop special. Which, what does that even indicate? Well, because the theme of the fair is Fair pop Goes up? Pop or something like that. Okay, so every one of them has it. Uh, OC Fair or the San Diego Fair had the uh, Wizard of Oz. Right. And then what was the OC Fair's? Was it just don't bring your tripod in because <laughs> we're going to be super was. difficult? And I went, wait, how can I order that? Okay. So, I'm sorry, I'll stop taking shots at them. But uh, the fair here uh, has their own little thing going on. And uh, Hot Dog on a Stick had a Stranger Things pop version, which is their Demi Gorgon hot dog. And this was uh, described as American cheese with hot dog inside. And we were trying to figure out exactly what that was. As a matter of fact, I think the woman <laughs> described what it was and we still couldn't understand what it was. What it really so it's, is. It's, a, it's, a fried, it's the fried cheese on yeah. a stick split they open, open and they put a hot, dog. hot dog in it. So it's essentially a combo. But what's funny is it almost just looks like a hot dog relaxing on a pool floaty. <laughs> just getting around there. Or so. like a hot dog in a tiny little bun. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's as lazy as you can get. But I mean, at least it's cute. And also the Stranger Things was a smart idea to do something a little bit different. Some of the pop uh, things they're offering here are the laziest. One was a fruit cup. What? <laughs> Like, well, give me well, a $7 they, fruit cup, No, please. no, but the cup is made of fruit and you get to eat the cup. No, it's not. All right. all right, well, let's go ahead and let's try it out. I mean, I already love hot dog on a stick, so this is all gimmick. And, and you're not going to put mustard or anything on this, No, right? I'm just going to do it. just like, as is. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. Because mm -hmm. look at that, that's cheese all the way through it. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Hot dog on a stick is always great. I just should talk it at the fair because why would you come to the fair to get something you can get every day? That's like the perfect bun for a yeah. hot dog. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're gonna die real quick. <laughs> Don't do it too often. But that is great. Uh, my favorite thing growing up from them was the cheese on a stick. I would get it all the time. Every time we go to the mall, I'd always beg my mom to get it for me. And that's why I was obese as a child. Right. This is good. I know I don't know if it's thirteen. I don't even know. I know it's not thirteen dollars. Good. You're at the fair though. If you're at the fair and they, they give you these fries, I gotta say, how are the fries? The fries are super disappointing. We waited, uh, you know, two minutes. So like in and outs fries, they immediately become cold, which I hate. Um, well, they're a little. These are a little starchy too. They're not that good though. I don't know. The fries are good. This though, as a gimmick, I think it holds up. Uh, it's just very, it's just funny. I mean, and that's all there is to it. It's really good too. Really delicious, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna rate this a solid four out of five. I would give it a five if it wasn't so expensive and the fries didn't suck. What do you say? I'm gonna give that, well, I'm not including the fries in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five. So I'm gonna give it a five just because the, that whole combination together is tasty. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give that on a solid five and the fries are just like something to put it on. It's like uh, like when you get your Easter basket with that plastic straw. Yeah, everybody that's throws like it away. That, that's what the fries are. Everybody throws it away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the French fries were an afterthought. But totally. That, they're just, they're that, just there to give more substance and warrant the fact that it was $13. Definitely big thumbs up for that. But against the fair, you know, you can't really blame them for prices because the fair is here to make money. And well, that's it, you know? That's, it's, it's capitalism at its finest, folks. Uh, but what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to check out Val's channel. Uh, we are definitely going to do one more ketchup item. Uh, we are going to go Twinkie. And now I said Oreo before, but I think we should stray away from chocolate because we did the Snickers. We're going to go Twinkie with ketchup, and we're going to see how that tastes. Yeah, that did, that doesn't sound as horrible. Yeah, but I mean the Snickers wasn't that bad, so I think it might yeah. be like really good. We'll see. All right, guys. Logan.